Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great afternoon. Okay, it's going to be a big video. Okay, so this is the last coffee glass where you ever need, according to my buddy Ryan. Okay, so, so this, okay, so the story behind this, as you can see from here, I have, goodness, I broke all the Hario glassware. Okay. Uh, I, I broke, I got one, I got two, I broke that. And also I even broke the fellow stack X as well, the glassware. The fact is I don't even, I'm very gentle with these glasses, but whatever reason, okay, they broke all the time on me. So, so far I broke at least four, okay. So I replaced with a three. So, so this is a company called Kinto. And uh, the fact is I love the price. So, so I went to their website, the Kinto USA website, and uh, my buddy Ryan told, hey, Ryan, uh, Ryan told me that you gotta try that their glass, their glassware, their base. According to him, uh, a lot of coffee shop uses it. So, I mean, that's a good sign, right? Because if your coffee shop uses it, which means they're pretty sturdy and durable. So, uh, it cost me 45 bucks. For fifteen dollars each, that's a really good price. Man, I cannot wait to share that with you. So let's get going, okay? Let's open this thing up. Hopefully, it should work. It should work for us. All right, here we go. Uh, that's better angle there. Obviously, the packaging. It's great. Great packaging. Hold on. So Kinto is, I think it's from Japan, I think. I think it's from Japan. I ordered three of these. Very simple though, very simple design. By the way, I love the, uh, love the packaging by the way. Man. Here I go. One. We got two. Yeah, great packaging. I mean, you can usually tell from the quality of products based on their packaging. Yeah, I mean, again, not bad there. Pretty nice. Has a Kinto on it. It's kind of like uh, when you're at the you know, science class. Look at that, guys. I bet you that's kind of like dot, tell you what size. Okay, my first impression. Pre-story. Um, I, I love the spout. All right, so let, the real question is, it's gonna be fit into my B60. Okay, V6 is good. Perfect. And then my fellow stack X. All right. Fellow works as well. This is good. Two for two so far. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I can check out uh, my San Anthony Industry C uh, P70. Okay, works good. Let's try the man, even a tricklet as well. Great. Last but least, actually, I got two more. So, this is the not neutral. That'll work. Okay, it's gonna work. Yeah, it's fine. 
Yep. It's gonna work. Okay, what else? I have I got the next brewer. The next level brewer. Yep, good. I think we're gonna be fine. Again, so this is a, a glass from the kind of like the vessel. Obviously, it's not a large size. It's, I mean, it's, it's perfect for single person. Okay. Comes to quality. Pretty strong there. You know what? I don't know about here though. I'm really afraid I might break it, but you know what? We'll see. Okay. For 15 bucks. I think I can live with that. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Okay, love to hear your thoughts on it. Again, I'm the the one good thing is I hear a lot of cafes who use it up in Seattle area. So you know what? I do trust the cafe owners. Very simple design. Looks good. Looks very sharp, you know. Okay, it's gonna be very good for I mean I can't wait to start using this. Should be a lot of fun there. You know, using various uh brewing method. Yeah, I mean even like triclet as well. Triclet now I've stack X, triclet, next layer, yeah, it's great. So it fits perfectly. Again, that cost me fifteen bucks each. I think it, I think this is pretty good buy. I mean, as you guys know, if you guys follow my channel, I'm really into glassware. I'm always looking for the next, the best thing for glass. You know, something simple, high quality, good price. So yeah, I mean, it's, looks great. I like it. I mean, I can't wait to start brewing some coffee with it. Hold on a second, I'm looking at the, your live chat right now. Uh, the, pro, the project viewer mentioned about the Krub. Okay, don't get me wrong, Krub is fantastic. I have Krub glassware as well. I'm, I'm talking about the vessel, okay? Uh, I'm talking about the vessel because I always break the, kind of like the Hario, those vessels there. Um, so I'm looking for something simple design, inexpensive. Yeah, I mean, th this is good. I like it. Okay, I like it very much. The price is right. And uh, hopefully, you guys are going to see next, you know, upcoming days and weeks. Let's find out, you know, this is, a, you know, hold up to it. Okay, so hold on a second. Here we have, uh, I'm, I'm stuck with the Hario Glass server for years. Good. Man, you know, I've been using it for... I broke three of those already, so unfortunately I don't have a sink here. I have to take my server to bathroom and wash it. So there's a lot of room to make a mistake. All right, guys. I hope you guys are having a great afternoon, and uh, I'm gonna be back uh, shortly. Okay, so let's make some uh, let's make some coffee. Let's do pour over. Okay, let's do some pour over uh, using the new server. And then I need to go wash it right now. I'm gonna go wash. Uh, le uh, let's make some, you know, let's do V60. Why not? Okay. Let's do V60. You know what? Maybe trickle it. I'm not sure. But we're gonna do one of those. Uh, let's make some coffee with it. You know what? I think I like this. Okay. I like this. All right, guys. I'll see you guys pretty soon. Uh, by the way, if you haven't followed me on my cooking channel, Make sure to follow my cooking channel, okay? It's called Hoon's Kitchen. I'm going to put the link down below. Because I'm trying to get up to 1,000. Right now, I'm at 500 right now. Once I go to 1,000 subscribers, I can start doing the live streaming. So we're going to do some live cooking. Okay, we're going to do some serious live cooking here. And I got my little stove top ready. And we're going to have some fun, okay? We're going to have some fun. We're going to make some food and a coffee. All right, see you guys soon.